Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about India as a mega diversity nation, hotspots of biodiversity, threats to biodiversity, endangered and endemic species of India. India as a mega diversity nation. Geological events in the landmass of India have provided conditions for high levels of biological diversity. Among the biologically rich nations, India stands among the top 10 or 15 countries for its great variety of plants and animals, many of which are not found elsewhere. It is estimated that the number of unknown species could be several times higher. It is also estimated that 18% of Indian plants are endemic to the country and found nowhere else in the world. Apart from the high biodiversity of Indian wild plants and animals, there is also a great diversity of cultivated crops and breeds of domestic livestock. Hotspots of Biodiversity The Earth's biodiversity is distributed in specific ecological regions. There are over a thousand major ecoregions in the world. Of these, 200 are said to be the richest, rarest and most distinctive natural areas. These areas are referred to as the Global 200. It has been estimated that 50,000 endemic plants, which comprise 20% of global plant life, probably occur in only 18 hotspots in the world. Countries which have a relatively large proportion of these hotspots of diversity are referred to as mega-diversity nations. Our globally accepted national hotspots are in the forest of Northeast and the Western Ghats, which are included in the world's most biorich areas. Coral reefs in Indian waters surround the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Lakshadweep Islands, the Gulf areas of Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. They are nearly as rich in species as tropical evergreen forest. Threats to biodiversity Habitat loss, poaching of wildlife and man-wildlife conflicts are the major threats to biodiversity. Habitat loss Man has begun to overuse or misuse most of these natural ecosystems. Due to the unsustainable resource use by man, once productive forest and grasslands have been turned into deserts and wasteland. The current destruction of the remaining large areas of wilderness habitats, especially in the super diverse tropical forest and coral reefs, is the most important threat worldwide to biodiversity. There are about 1.8 million species of plants and animals, both large and microscopic, known to science in the world at present. Plants and insects as well as other forms of life, not known to science, are continually being identified in the world's hotspots of diversity. Human actions could well exterminate 25% of the world's species within the next 20 or 30 years. Much of this mega extinction spasm is related to human population growth, industrialization and changes in land use patterns. A major part of these extinctions will occur in biorich areas such as tropical forest, wetlands and coral reefs. The loss of wild habitats due to rapid human population growth and short-term economic development are major contributors to the rapid global destruction of biodiversity. Loss of species occurs due to the destruction of natural ecosystems, either for conversion to agriculture or industry or by over-extraction of their resources or through pollution of air, water and soil. In India, forests and grasslands are continuously being changed to agricultural land. Encroachments have been legalized repeatedly. Our natural forests are being deforested for timber and replanted using teak, sal or other single species for their timber value. Such plantations do not support the same biological diversity 
as a multi-storied natural forest which has a closed canopy and a rich understory of vegetation. When excessive firewood is collected from the forest by lopping the branches of trees, the forest canopy is opened up and this alters local biodiversity. Another factor that disrupts forest biodiversity is the introduction of exotic weeds which are not a part of the natural vegetation. In our country, a variety of traditional farming techniques have evolved over several centuries. Cultivation by slash and burn in the Himalayas and grab by looping of tree branches to act as a wood ash fertilizer in the western ghats are two such systems. These methods are now unsustainable and are leading to a loss of forest biodiversity. Over harvesting of fish especially by trawling is leading to serious depletion of fish stocks. Poaching of wildlife Specific threats to certain animals are related to large economic benefits. Skin and bonds from tigers, ivory from elephants, horns from rhinos and the perfume from the must deer are extensively used abroad. Bears are killed for their gallbladders. Corals and shells are also collected for export or sold on the beaches of Chennai and Kanyakumari. A variety of wild plants with real or at times dubious medicinal value are being over harvested. Collection of garden plants includes orchids, ferns and moss. Man-Wildlife Conflicts Humans have always depended on nature for food and shelter, but when need turns to greed, it leads to over-exploitation of natural resources. Presently, many marine fish populations around the world are over-harvested, endangering the continued existence of some commercially important species. Our next topic is Endangered and Endemic Species of India. Let's see the endangered species of India. A plant, animal or microorganism that is in immediate risk of biological extinction is called endangered species or threatened species. In India, 450 plant species have been identified as endangered species, 100 mammals and 150 birds are estimated to be endangered. India's biodiversity is threatened primarily due to habitat destruction, degradation, and over-exploitation of resources. The Red Data Book contains a list of endangered species of plants and animals. It contains a list of species of that are endangered but might become extinct in the near future if not protected. Some of the rarest animals found in India are Asiatic cheetah, Asiatic lion, Asiatic wild ass, Bengal fox, Ghar, Indian elephant, etc. Extinct species are no longer found in the world. Endangered or threatened species is one whose number has been reduced to a critical number. Unless it is protected and conserved, it is in immediate danger of extinction. A rare species is localized within a restricted area or is thinly scattered over an extensive area. Such species are not endangered or vulnerable. A few endangered species in the world are West Virginia Spring Salamander, Giant Panda, Golden Lion Tamarind, Siberian Tiger, Mountain Gorilla, etc. Other important endangered species are tortoise, peacock, capped monkey, sandalwood tree, etc. Factors affecting endangered species are Human beings dispose waste indiscriminately in nature, thereby polluting the air, land and water. These pollutants enter the food chain and accumulate in living creatures resulting in death. Over-exploitation of natural resources and poaching of wild animals also leads to their extinction. Climate change brought about by accumulation of greenhouses gases in the atmosphere. 
climate change threatens organisms and ecosystems and they cannot adjust to the changing environmental conditions leading to their death and extinction an international treat to help protect endangered wildlife is convention on international trade in endangered species 1975 sites the treaty is signed by 160 countries Sites list 900 species that cannot be commercially traded as live specimens or wildlife products as they are in danger of extinction. Sites restricts trade of 2900 other species as they are in danger. The drawbacks of sites are this is limited as enforcement is difficult and convicted violators get away by paying only a small fine. and member countries can exempt themselves from protecting any listed species now let's see the endemic species of india species that are found only in a particular region are known as endemic species almost 60% the endemic species in india are found in himalayas and the western ghats endemic species are mainly concentrated in northeast india northwest himalayas Western Ghats and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Examples of endemic flora species are Saprea himalayana, Overia lurida, Nepenthes cassiana, etc. Endemic fauna of significance in the Western Ghats are lion-tailed macaque, Nilgiri langur, Nilgiri thar, etc. And the factors affecting the endemic species are habitat loss and fragmentation due to draining and filling of inland wetlands and pollution examples frog eggs tadpoles and adults are extremely sensitive to pollutants especially pesticides overhunting and Populations can be adversely affected by introduction of non-active predators and competitors. Disease producing organisms also play an important adversary in reducing populations of endemic species. That's a that's all about endangered and endemic species of India. Thank you.